In this video, you're gonna find out exactly why the one bucket method during the cleaning of your wheels is the stupidest idea that you can ever do within the car care industry. I'm gonna show you exactly why and what to do instead. All right, then here we go. So for full transparency reasons, you could see a very dirty wheel. What you can also see is a very high performance wheel cleaner and a very high performance tire cleaner. You've got, for showcase purposes, a completely clear bucket. As you can see, it is completely clean. Water's clean, the brushes are clean, okay? Now, I have seen 10, 20,000 videos of detailers doing what I'm about to show you. And I just think, where is your common sense in all of this? So, the method that I'm talking about is, you of course got the wheel bucket filled with water. A lot of people put a wheel shampoo in there. Um, obviously for this demonstration, I'm not gonna do that because I just wanna show you exactly how stupid this method is. They'll fill it with wheel shampoo, car shampoo, whatever it may be and then they'll proceed to clean the wheels and then what they will do is they will take in this case the very best brush on the planet the original wheel woolly they will take this once it's loaded up with wheel cleaners wheel shampoos at that point it's irrelevant but it's loaded up with probably one of the most abrasive substances known to man and what they'll do is they will dip it back in here, like this, they'll rinse it out, hey, well done, All right? And then they will proceed to go onto the next wheel or they will take, you know, something else and they will basically take all that dirt off a wheel, put it back into a bucket, and then they will transfer it onto the next wheel or into the barrel or whichever place that they're cleaning with this said solution. Now you tell me if that is not the stupidest thing that you have ever heard, okay? So I'm gonna showcase to you from how quickly a perfectly clear bucket within one swipe can go to the worst bucket of death that you've ever seen. All right, here we go. So, dirty wheel. Our wheels, which is a two-in-one product. So look, even coverage. Look at that instant reaction, boom. Right, that's why this is the best. Through a very, very nice bottle, we'll put this to the side. And then, of course, our undress product, specifically for the tie rubbers. Look at that instant reaction, thank you very much. Hit the arches with it as well. All right, that's dwelling, well done now, so. Here come the detailers that you see on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, whatever, right? What we're gonna do first, let's do the wheel woolly, right? Completely clear bucket of water, right? Completely, right? Wheel woolly, and you're going to agitate. Right, you've cleaned the barrels, guys. Well done. Now, what is it that you do? Right, you've seen me do this a million times, but this is what you see everybody do. Oh my God. Look at that. Brake dust. <laughs> what is that? Right, so the bucket's gone from perfectly clear. And by the way, I've only done one swipe. I haven't done anything else. It's gone to completely black. Now we're gonna take, obviously, uh, the detailing brush. I like to preload it on a wheel of this kind of dirt. And we'll go to agitate. So basically, the wheel cleaning process will never change. Of course, you can add or remove certain steps independent on kind of what state the wheel's in, if you're doing a decon in it or not. Obviously, that is completely up to you. However, just keep watching that bucket. It's gone from having no tan to having a lot of tan within one swipe of a brush. And it's only gonna get worse. So there's my detailing brush, well done, right? 
Hey, swirl it around. It's getting more and more black. Now, the problem is, people think, obviously this is probably the best kind of demonstration that you could do, but because people like to put a bit of shampoo in there and agitate it through a pressure washer like that, obviously there's nothing in there right now, but because the foam is hiding everything, you think that all of a sudden that the water's clean, right? I haven't even hit the tie yet. I've got all that brown gunk. There we are. Brown, straight in there. Maybe take the wheel woolly for the arches as well. As you can imagine, whatever's in the arches, dirt, tar, etc. Dump it back in. Right. Look what I've achieved. It's just the most horrific piece of black I have ever seen. What is that? Seriously. Now what I'm gonna show you on the next wheel is exactly how I currently do it and a few other methods when we actually get our new version two booker packages in. That is also the way that you're gonna do it. I'm gonna switch over to the next front wheel and show you how I believe if you're a real professional or if you're a real kind of, you know, prosumer as I call them, if you really love this as a car care world and a car care lifestyle, you should be doing the next method. All right, so once again, I've just cleaned out my brushes, cleaned out the bucket, it's disgusting. And I'm gonna re-show you the test. Now, you could do one of three methods. You've seen me do this all the time. I have got an empty wheel bucket that has got no water in there, it's got a grid guard, it's got all my kind of wheel cleaner brushes in there. And what I do is I spray them out every single time in between wheels like this. Okay, now that's a very, very good method. If you want to use the one bucket method, you would then at this point obviously water, if you want to do whatever wheel foam in there, it's, it's completely up to you, but you would still have to rinse out the brushes in between. You want to get as much of the contamination in here out rather than putting them back in, because at the end of the day, I'm going to hit you with the question, would you go and pick up muddy water from a puddle over there and go and wash your car with it? No, why? I'll let you answer that why. So why are you doing it with the wheels, okay? People seem to think that this doesn't need as much care as this, okay? Which is completely wrong. Or what you can do, which I'll do a dedicated video on that, and yes, you're gonna laugh, but a two bucket method on your wheel cleaning process. So imagine you've got a double dolly here, obviously connected up, hint, hint. Um, <laughs> And what you would have is the same spec as you would do for your car washing, right? So you would have a clean bucket here with say something like wheel foam when you agitate it. And then on this side, you would have, imagine like a dirty bucket that you would pre-dunk all of your dirty brushes in, and then you would go back into your clean bucket and continue cleaning because this bucket is the one that's gonna get really bad and this one's gonna be clean. Obviously, I'm not gonna ruin that surprise on that video, so I'm gonna keep that one on a back burner. But for now, again, look, I'm gonna just pre-treat the other front wheel. The reason I'm doing the fronts is because they're traditionally dirtier, right? So there, look. There we go, instant reaction again. Now, while it's just getting 15 seconds to set up, I'm gonna tell you this. Some people will be watching this video, some people might even comment on this video and say, well, I ain't got time for this. I'm a whatever, I'm a professional, or I just wanna do a quick clean. My argument is, look, boo-boo, you go and do what you want. However, I can't stop you going to clean your wheels with a scour and brush from Tesco, okay? That is, obviously, I am not, God, I can't stop your decisions. However, in my opinion, to me, this is a lifestyle, okay? And either I do something 
right once or I don't do it at all. So if you are watching this video going, oh my God, you have to spray out every single brush before I put it back in the bucket. Yes. If you don't want to transfer everything you've just took off back onto the wheel, yes. So again, look, detail factory brush. This is my wheel spec one, color coded in red. So again, nothing will change within your actual agitation, your product choice. That is life and you have to clean the wheel. But this is where the magic happens. So right now, I have got a quite a preloaded brush, okay? All this gunk that I've just took out. Instead of smashing this right back into the clean bucket, I'm gonna do this. Now, is this a foolproof way of doing it? Obviously, absolutely not. I would recommend putting it under a tap after, obviously after all your kind of steps are complete and really looking after your brushes. This is why this brush looks still brand new after three and a half years. But in this case, you are getting 90, 95% there. Guess what? Look at this. No black. Oh. oh my goodness me. It's as if magic has happened. Now let's do it with a bigger brush, right? I'm gonna fit a medium wheel wheelie in there. All right. This is where you're gonna obviously have the real test because the barrels hold everything in there. And once again, it looks like I have killed something with this wheel woolly. Now this is black and blue, purple, etc. Again, don't bother. Guess what? On this one, camera won't lie. Completely clear water every single time, people, right? Now, this is the beautiful thing about this, okay? So you like to have, say, wheel foam in the bucket, agitated in. Obviously, at this point now, you're gonna have really high kind of premium grade quality surfactants in there and cleaners, high pH going into the wheel cleaner. I get why people do it, that's not a problem. But please don't believe that because there's a bit of foam in here and a little bit of foam on the wheel that all of a sudden the brake dust just be like, whoa, I'm not going back into the bucket. It still gets transferred into here. So when you take this back into here and then onto the next wheel, you're literally wasting your time. You might as well stay at home, put the TV on and, and watch my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, this is literally, you've seen five seconds every brush and you're done. So as you can see, proof, as they say in the Western world, the proof is in the pudding. See, completely clear water. And hopefully this time I have proven you the number one way why you don't dunk in your brushes back into your wheel bucket, all right? The dual two bucket method for the wheels, that's gonna blow some more minds as well. That will come hopefully very, very soon once we finalize the packages. And as always, I hope this has helped. This is a real life demo of what can be done and what shouldn't be done. And please, I'm honestly, on this video, I really look forward to seeing your comments in the comment section because I know everybody does it the other way that I've just showed you. So have I changed anybody's mind? Let me know. See you guys soon.